Hello Glitter Witches and welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to talk about Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now if you know me personally or you know me for any ex extended period of time or watched Wine and Witchcraft, you would know that I love Buffy. Buffy is my favorite television show of all time, one of my favorite characters of all time. And the reason why I wanted to talk about her is because a new tarot deck came out and I was gifted this deck by the Sunshine State Witch and Owlvine Green. It is the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Tarot and Guide Book. Now we're going to go through this and uh, kind of look at some of the cards. I don't know if I'm going to do a full walkthrough or what all we're going to do, but I'm so excited to open this. Now, I was good and took the cellophane off. But I did not look at anything, and it's very difficult. I haven't seen any videos on this, any Instagram posts, nothing. I have seen nothing. I know nothing. And I intentionally wanted to go into it like this because I'm very protective over Buffy just because of the impact that the show had on my life. And so before we go into the cards, I did just want to talk about why I love Buffy so much and my connection to Buffy and what all that is about. So as most of you know, I grew up in a very religious situation, a cult situation, and uh, for some reason or another, my parents allowed me to watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And I really think it's because they didn't know what was happening on the TV show. They had saw the film and obviously, that was not as intense of an experience. I have something on my hand. Anyway, that's taken care of. I don't know what that was about. But anyway, I don't know why they allowed me to watch Buffy. I really think that they thought it was some kitty show. And what's so interesting to me is the show was so violent and, you know, sexually explicit kind of for the time for like regular TV. And the only thing they cared about is when they found out that Willow was gay. That was the biggest thing, that you're, you're watching a lesbian. Not that she's practicing witchcraft, not that she's evil, not that there's blood and murder. That's perfectly fine. Or rape, attempted rape, that's okay. It's the gay thing that's the problem. That was the whole issue once they found out what Buffy was all about. All of that is besides the point, really. You know, for me, I am immediately connected to Buffy and the show season one just really became obsessed because she presented to the world a certain way. The world had an expectation of her and how she was supposed to behave and how she was supposed to think and the goals she was supposed to have in life. But she had this secret of being a slayer that she had a fear to tell the world and how it would impact her family, how it impact, you know, her friends, how it would impact people around her. And she was very protective over that secret, even though a lot of times keeping that secret was detrimental and a lot of times hurt those people worse than if they would have just known the truth. And there was a lot of correlation between that and how I felt as somebody who uh, was gay, is gay, and living in a very religious, strict home and feeling like, I, I, you know, you have to be a certain way to the world in hiding that secret. There was a lot of correlation and I was able to relate to that really easily, even at 12, 13 years old, that you know, I I see myself in Buffy. And as the series went on and her struggles with love and identity and self-acceptance and purpose just really rang true for me. So Buffy has just been a huge influence in my life. And I sincerely believe if that show didn't exist, I wouldn't be alive. <sighs> okay, enough about that. That got really heavy. But as you can tell, love Buffy, huge influence on my life. Let's talk about this deck. So this is the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Terror and Guidebook. I love this as far as the color scheme is concerned. So I have some concerns already with some of the artwork. I don't like the cartoonish vibe to it, um, but we're gonna hold out that it's it, that it's gonna make sense. So this is a hard box. Uh, let's see. Follow the wisdom of Buffy, Willow, Xander, Spike, and others with this beautifully illustrated tarot deck inspired by the beloved series, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Featuring beautiful original illustrations of Buffy Summers, Giles, Angel, and the rest of the Scoobies as the classic tarot characters. This is 
20th Century Television Insight Editions. So this is what we got. It retails for $28. Okay, so let's take a look. Like I said earlier, the guidebook is completely color, which is fabulous. Um, it starts off with basically introducing to the deck, they say meeting your chosen one, which is a play on words and with the series, obviously pretty basic information. Uh, we talk about the major and the minor, but what I really wanted to show you guys was the suits have changed and they go into detail about uh, what each suit means and what kind of they focus on, which I think is beautiful. And for a deck like Buffy, you have to invest completely. You cannot go a little ways. You have to go all the way. And the suits that they chose make perfect sense for the series, which I like. And then we move right into, oh my God, beautiful. Okay, and they also have upright and reverse, which I do like. Uh, it looks like all, I'm trying not to look too much. Okay, so the majors have full and then the, oh, oh, I love that, Clem. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. So you see the differences in the major and the minor and how they're, oh yes, Cordelia. Okay, let's, this is beautiful, I do like this. Let's see if they have little bit about the author okay so they do have some decks and the names oh, sorry decks spreads and I love the names of the spreads nice to meet you prophecy girl which is an episode in season one I believe it may be the season one finale I think um bro that's shrimp five by five we love a faith moment Okay, so that's beautiful. Okay, so that's the guidebook. Really actually love that. Let's move into the deck. Okay, so now let's move the guidebook aside. We don't care about that right now. We have the pool string, which I think is fabulous. Oh, that's cute. We're going to put that to the side. Okay, let's take a look at the back. Now, I will say that this cardstock feels really, really nice. They're um, like a matte silk. Uh, the cardstock is not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, I do like the color scheme of this a lot. Uh, so let's just do like a little flip through and take a look at the cards. Uh, we have Xander, which I think is perfect. Willow, the magician. Tara as the high priestess. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. We have Drusilla as the Empress. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes, ma'am, as the Emperor. I love that they chose Buffy as the Emperor. I think that that is the perfect choice, really. We have Giles. This is from Once More with Feeling. Cordelia as a Chariot. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm not really a fan of this. I, I don't know why you would put Dawn if that's Dawn. I'm pretty sure that's Dawn. Why you would put Dawn as strength. That um, does not feel... Um, yeah. Mm, I'm not a real fan of that, but I'm going to let that go for the moment. We have... Um, Fuck, I was about to call him Austin Powers. The first original Slayer, Angel. We have Spike, my baby daddy. Ooh, this is from Hush. Temperance for Joy, I love that. And I like how they're still adding traditional tarot imagery in here and just kind of amping it up. Evil Willow, that's perfect. The Tower is from season five, the season finale, which actually, for those of you who don't know, is going to serve as the series finale because the WB canceled it. That was before it moved to UPN. That's what that's from. Beautiful. Kendra as the star. Faith as the moon, of course. This is from the series finale with Spike and Buffy. Judgment. I realize I screwed all these up. Whatever it is, what it is. The world. 
Oh my God, these are fabulous. Okay, I love this so much. Is this Harmony? Oh my God. Oh God, I love this. I am obsessed. I am literally obsessed and I like how they have the stakes and the cards are a different color. Love that as well, depending on the suit. Oh, so good. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to do what you're not supposed to do. I just want to go ahead and shuffle these. I, I got to. I'm sorry. I want to get a good little shuffle in here. We didn't go through all of them. I know y'all are bitching at me. I get it. Oh, so good. Um, but you know what? I want to pull a card and see what it says. I got I got all this decor around here, and it's just it's not enough room, honey. Okay, let's get in here and do this. Let's get a good shuffle. The cards. Okay, this is beautiful. It's a nice shuffle. I do like the cardstock. It's not super thin. It's not ridiculously thick. Uh, which I like because I can shuffle it like a normal person and not feel crazy. All right, let's cut the deck. Let's pull a card. Two of Pentacles from one of my least favorite seasons. Perfect. Okay, let's look at Pentacles and see what it has to say. Two of Pentacles. Upright, pulling overtime at the Double Meat Palace, trying to keep your little sister from shoplifting and penciling in time to take down another big bad. You've got your plate full. And when the Two of Pentacles appears, it's an encouragement to slow down. Yes, you have tons of responsibilities, but you won't get anything done if you don't create time to get organized. Why is that so relevant to my life? Let's also look at the reversed. Trying to get... Trying to fast track your way into double meat management sounds like a gross plan, but before you start flipping extra patties, why not spend time understanding how this shift and focus might impact the rest of your life? This card warns of overcommitting in one's area while other important parts of your life are neglected. So pursue your beefy dreams, but be sure you aren't doing it at the expense of your loved ones. I love that. Okay. You know, I was a little worried about the artwork because it is a little cartoonish, all the potentials. Um, but I have to say, oh, Buffy Bot, I really actually am feeling the vibe of this a lot. Oh, Goddess Willow, Willow, oh my gosh. Okay, I love this. I love this so much. This may just become my new favorite deck. So you can pick this up on Amazon. I would love to hear what you guys think. Sorry, this this is such a sporadic video and kind of complete craziness because, oh, glory, um, because I'm such a huge fan of Buffy, so I'm kind of fangirling, and this video has just taken a shot to hell and back. But you know what? I don't care. Oh, Anya, I'm sorry. You did not deserve that. You did not deserve to die the way you did, boo, -boo. Um, But yes, I would highly, 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 highly suggest this deck and I will be working with it a ton in the future. So until next time, Glitter Witches, bye.